Good afternoon and what are they cool, bright and sunny day. It is Thursday the 30th of November and I've got a nice hot cup of tea and a parcel to a box. So let's get this open and grab the knife. Harder than I expected, but what I have here is this the Dotno Files, um, which is a collection of comic, comic strips from the pages of 2000 AD um, about dinosaurs. So, or specifically, dino um, uh, um, dinosaur farming in the past. So, flesh. The food of the future. So you think that a meteorite collision with, with Earth was responsible for wiping out the dinosaurs? Well, you're wrong. By the 23rd century, man has drained the planet's resources bare, but thanks to time travel technology, the Trans Time Corporation sent rangers such as Cowboy Earl Reagan back to the days when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Uh, the rangers round up these magnificent creatures and blast them back into the future so real flesh stays on the menu. Only sometimes the dinner bites back. The story by Pat Mills, uh, Nemesis the Warlock Slain, an amazing art by Massimo uh, uh, Baldinelli and J, uh, um, A Striking, Ramon Sola, Black Hawk, and James McKay fleshes a book you can really get your teeth into. So, um, this is um, actually was published what? At, uh, I think at, um, let's see, well, okay. So this collection, I think, is, is itself is about 20 years old. Um, and it's, com it's a combination of science fiction and um, Wild West. Um, the whole idea of, well, it mixes a number of things. So you, you've got the, the Wild West and the cattle um, herding, you know, basically t taking up, you, you, you're herding your, uh, you, yeah, you, your cattle from uh, Texas all the way up to Kansas and beyond, basically to railheads where it will get shipped to um, Chicago and the slaughterhouses there and then the idea of you know basically we have um, essentially uh, uh, scrape the planet um, um, uh, free of all of its resources fortunately we've got time travel so we can go back and do something else about it which is i.e we can farm dinosaurs and then blame it all on a meteorite until time travel is invented and we go oh we have all these resources um, but what it sets up is um, you know, basically a comic strip with some absolutely fantastic artwork. Um, you know, essentially combining um, kind of two loves, as it were, for um, sort of like genre fans. So you grow up, grow up being a fan of the Wild West. It's doing that, and then you, you know you, you're a fan of dinosaurs because dinosaurs are are cool, and everyone has their favourite dinosaur. Um, you know, and everyone's got their favourite dinosaur movie. Because uh, dinosaurs are a big threat, you know. I mean, more obviously, we've seen dinosaurs as big threats, as dangers, um, and also uh, something to be awestruck at in the Jurassic Park series of films. Um, you know, you go back to that moment in uh, what was it, 1993, when we saw dinosaurs on the big screen like we'd never seen dinosaurs before. Um, and this is all kind of tapping into that. I mean, it's obviously uh, written sort of like the late late seventies and early eighties. Um, but this is, um, you know, it, it it brings in you know sort of like you know the, the black and white hats of, of the Wild West versus the brutality of of, of nature, uh, untrammeled except by time tra um, meddling time traveling um, uh, humans from the future. Um, it's um, you know wild of tooth and. Um, uh, uh, strong, uh, uh, you know, a uh, strong of claw, as it were, um, and you get this great artwork. So I'm genuinely looking forward to giving this a good read, um, and I, I really would be nice. You know, I mean, basically, um, that um, you know, if uh, this could be reprinted in a larger format um, uh, to, to show off just just some of the artwork, because you know, I mean, the thing is, you 
these days we are spoiled by car artwork and no i'm not saying oh god the good the good old days were you know uh, were better i'm saying we are spoiled by good art um but back then we had great art it's just as good art it's not it's not it's not sometimes better but black and white you know it, it, there's nothing wrong with black and white art this is you know this is this is genuinely really great art so yeah um and this is the sort of stories that will be being told in the pages of 2000 AD back then you know strong science fiction uh, uh stories um and this would run and run for multiple issues um i mean you can go and read up on the history of, of, of flesh um you know, on the pages of pages of wikipedia or, or wherever um but there's nothing like actually being a chance to, to dig into it and really enjoy um the artwork uh, and the stories um And I mean, if you're a fan of this, if you're a gaming fan of this, yeah, grab this as a source material for something like Brontosaurus Rex, which is the setting, uh, T 2D20, uh, sorry, the D20 system setting from Goodman Games, published back again, um, about 2003, something like that, 2001, about the same time as this compilation. You know, this is a great source book for that, because it, it mixes, um, you know, the idea of a planet with dinosaurs and... Um, you know, uh, different, di 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 different factions um, from, from from the Earth, and also you know humans arriving on planet Gondwana to get back to nature. Um, you know, in a um, in a wilderness, as I say, almost untrammeled um, by human um, influence. You know, and that means living you know um, uh, like the semi Stone Age um, counter or counterparts once did, but of course. You know, there were no people about when the, when the you know um, when there were dinosaurs. This is not this is this is not one million years BC. You are not going to run into Racco Welsh in a fur bikini. Um, but you know, there are people who are taking advantage of it and and, and living back in, in in a wilderness, as you can see there. So yeah, that's Flesh the Dino Files, uh, published by Rebellion. Um, worth tracking down. It's going to be a great comic. Really looking forward to digging into this and giving it a good read. So, uh, thanks for watching another unboxing in the nook. If you enjoyed this, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking uh, the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here, with a package uh, containing a book or game, which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing look. Be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.